subscription spot, we are having a look at the Dinosaur Dracula for February 2016. Every month you are guaranteed one thing with the folks over at Dinosaur Dracula. It's going to get a box every single month that has a ton of retro goodies inside. The February box has arrived, and we're going to get this opened up. Find out what we got inside. Uh, certainly Spider will put the link down below if you guys are interested in getting Dinosaur Dracula delivered to your house every single month as well. So the only thing that's preventing me from getting inside this box is a piece of tape here, a piece of tape here, and pieces of tape on either side. To remedy that, I will need one of these, a knife. Or I could simply just ask somebody that's in the same room, hey, could you open this for me? They would do that, I'm sure. They might also just say, get lost, but sometimes I work off the kindness of people that I live with. Can you please open this for me? Thank you. Thank you. We are usually treated immediately when we get the boxes opened up. We are treated to snacks that we kind of engage and snack on while we're looking at all the other goodies inside. These would be the food goodies, and then we would look at the collectible goodies as well. This is from hers. It's nacho cheese flavored tortilla chips, bite-sized chips. Uh, nutritional facts, do we even need to know? But 130 calories if you're interested. And it's almost like little tiny, little tiny Doritos that have not grown up yet. They don't know the hardships of the world. They're still young. They're very innocent. God bless you. God bless you, bite-sized chips. Let's give these a try. The HERS Nacho Cheese Flavored Tortilla Chips. Let's give it a try. These are the types of chips that you would probably consume one, puzzle there for a second, wondering what you just eaten, and then immediately say the same thing that I'm about to say. Where's the cheese? I taste more corn chip than I taste the nacho cheese. I guess, sadly, the problem is I'm comparing it to Doritos, which tend to be slathered, covered in cheese powdered goodness. These Nacho cheese, on the other hand, just are a little on the bland side. Not as much going on, if you ask me. However, that was our meal for our dessert. We got ourselves Oreo minis. So far, so good. I like that we are treated to a meal, a dessert, and then we can kind of, we have our entertainment, which is going to be what's inside the box. A Dorito mini. Everything is small so far. Small, infant-sized chips. Small infant size minis, neither of which have grown up yet. Let's give these a try. Tastes exactly like Oreos, just a little bit smaller. Here we go. Mm hmm. The cleverness, of course, for Nabisco is it simply would just be a larger Oreo. Uh, you probably get about three of them in the box, but, or in the bag, but instead you get, I'm going to say maybe about 10 inside. You think you're getting a lot, but it really only works out to be about two to three Oreos of regular size. Still love love Oreos. I've no issues whatsoever with Oreos. The chips are eh, eh, kumsi kumsa, but I like the Oreos. All right, so the first thing we're gonna have a look at in Dinosaur Dracula's February box is a pixelated Smurfette. I'm not sure where this image would have come from. I don't think there was a Smurf game that looked like this. Let's find out what we got inside. I like these little blue bags, too. And we have a Smurfette keychain. I almost thought that for a second was a spring. I was going to go like this. It was going to go everywhere. I was going to say, oh, it's not a spring. But then I realized halfway through, no, that's not a spring. Stop. Stop what you're doing immediately. There's Smurfette on a pair of roller skates. Apparently, she sounds like she's got a jet pack. I like that. Does it give you a year? Let's see here. Let's see if my eyes can... I think it says 1980. It actually, I think it says 1980. So that's pretty vintage. I would have been two. Right now everybody's doing the math. Yes, spot's old. We'll put Smurfette there to guard the mini. So actually, we're kind of sticking to one theme. Everything really, really small. 
Now I guess jumping to more of the si the larger size, we have El Mastruo del Pantano, which I don't know what that is. It looks like it's some sort of Sasquatch swamp thing creature. Let's open it up and find out. Let's investigate a little further, shall we? Yeah, it's pretty much what I expected. Although I wasn't expecting it to be covered as much with this mucusy kind of, kind of looks a little bit like snot. I would say that's not funny. Let's see what you did there. Uh, it looks like a swamp thing, Sasquatch creature. I guess presumably this is a creature that does exist. Well, it exists at least in the folklore of whatever it originates from. Would that be Spanish? I'm trying to see. It look, kind of looks like it could be Spanish. An interesting, one of the more interesting little PVCs that we have gotten inside Dinosaur Dracula. We shall put him right there. He can hang out with Smurfette. He would be her boyfriend. You would then, therefore, not mess with Smurfette. Maybe that's why all the other Smurfs... You never see any other Smurfs hooking up with Smurfette. That's because that's her boyfriend right there. We got Crazy Bones. Play the craze. This is Things. This pack contains four Crazy Bones stickers and game card characters. 61 to 120. Comes to us from Magic Box, www.crazybones.com. Let's open the package to that. There we go. And see what we got inside. Okay, for starters, we got ourselves some stickers. One looks like it's a drum, one looks like it's a lamp. I'm gonna guess, well, that's a boot, but I'm trying to guess what the thing is next to it. I'm gonna guess. A washing machine where you put your clothes. I see some dials around his eyes. I see what looks to be, it could be also a dryer. Because I guess you, a lot of washers, well that's not true. Back in the day a lot of washers you load from the top, dryer you loaded from the front, but now everything's from the front. A couple stickers there. We got a Crazy Bones Series 2 checklist. A traditional game on the back there. And let's see what we got. Now, I, because these are, for the most part, one color and one color only, it's going to be hard to kind of gauge what these are. If anybody wants to help me along the way, by all means, jump on in. My first guess was toilet. My first guess probably would be wrong. It could also really be a monitor, but it wouldn't have this little lip thing on the front, because these are things after all. I don't know. I'm going to stick with my gut and say toilet. Probably not what Crazy Bones wants me to think this is, but I'm going to go with Toilet. If anybody knows, just let me know. No idea. Let's see if we fare a little bit better on this one. I'm guessing it's a dish of ice cream. It's strawberry ice cream in a strawberry apparently flavored canister or container bowl. If you want to call it a bowl. Three scoops. He's very happy. Maybe if he was only two scoops, he wouldn't be as happy. But three scoops, this guy, this guy's king of the world. Until the infamous spoon then comes and then he's then he's gone. But in the meantime, he'll enjoy life and live it to the fullest. Heat would also be a problem in this guy's life. The next one is a spray can, I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's a spray can. Looters and uh, people that love graffiti would love these. Just psh, psh, psh. This guy's got his little tongue sticking out as well. He's enjoying the fact that he's putting graffiti all over the wall. He puts like rads. R A D Z. Rads. Rad spot? That's the best you could have come up with. Well, we are looking at vintage toys after all. Rads. And back in the day, everything had a Z. Everything. You go to clothing stores, it'd be like Fashion Days, and it'd be like D A Y. I don't even know why. You you can hear me. I don't know why I have to do this. D A Y and Z. Fashion Days. Or Deals. D E A L Z. What are we talking about here? This looks like a bust. I don't know if it's supposed to be a bust or if it's actually supposed to be the the top of a soldier 
But these are things after all, so I'm assuming it's like a bust statue. It almost looks like the thing that Adam West would open up to open up the wall to lead to the Batcave. That's not what it is, obviously, but... Very cool. Very cool. Alright, so then we got some cards. Pro set, Bill and Ted's most atypical movie cards. You get ten triumphant cards inside. Let's hope, at least, we also get some gum. I'm not saying, I'm not saying for one second I'm going to be eating the gum, because we know the gum's not really good for you, but... Let's see. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, the first movie. Supposedly they are making a third Bill and Ted. Not so much impacting Keanu's career. I mean, Keanu's still moving on. He's got stuff going on. But, uh, yeah, the other guy. Other than Lost Boys, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him in anything. So he's just thankful that he's got a career. He's got, he's got options. He didn't have options before. Girl watering her lawn there. Or plants. Hey, it's this guy. And George Carlin. Phone booth. I got that upside down. I realized that. Phone booth. There's a king. Wild stallions. Money. What else do we have in here? This is the future, which apparently the future also has Spider-Man in it. Does that not look like from a distance Spider-Man? Spider-Man. And lastly, the Wild Stallions. There's instant win rules. I won't even bother reading it because I can tell you this, it expires. In fact, it expires October 31st, 1992. I won't even open that. Opening it would get my heart up, my, get my hopes up for it, realizing later I would not be able to enter. We have the trivia battle game with Bubblegum. Huzzah, Bubblegum, over 1,500 questions in series one. I have never, ever heard of these. It's from 1984, though, from the company Tops, which apparently made cards of everything. There is the infamous gum right there. Kind of looks like a sheet of drywall. Very not appetizing, I can tell you that. Even, like, looking at it, I can tell it's not appetizing. I'm just going to maybe put it there for the time being. I don't know. I don't even know if I'll revisit that. There's trivia battle questions. Uh, I guess you fold, fold these. Oh, okay, you fold these in half. I guess you separate them, but then they're smaller cards to collect. So there's the the bittersweet irony of it all. People. Oh, okay. People. This singer actress, Judy Garland's daughter, is best known for starring in the film Cabaret. I'm gonna guess who is. Oh wait, are we playing Jeopardy? Who is Liza Minnelli? Somebody says, I have no idea who Liza Minnelli is. Well, she is also the answer on the back. Let's try another one. TV film, Arnold's father's name in different strokes. Well, it's if it's his, his adopted father, it's Mr. Drummond. I'm trying to remember what his real name is, or his first name. Howard Drummond. Spot what's different strokes. Okay, just get out, just leave. But we got a series of battle tr uh, battle cards, trivia battle cards. Good, but I mean, then the downside is it's dated, so somebody might not know what that is. And uh, what is this? Game rules. All the questions answered, making a deck of 16 cards. Oh, I guess this is a score. And then when you get to the end, you win. But you can apparently only use this card once. Unless, I guess you put something over top of it every single time. And we have the Trivia Battle Star and Trivia Battle Scar. Are these both stickers? Let's hope they are. They are. Although they don't have much glue on them to speak of. I mean, keeping in mind, this is old. This is a pretty old. And you see that? It's like the x-ray of the bubble gum has imprinted itself to the back of the card forever, for the end of time. I saw these little bad boys. I recognize these immediately. I had these when I was younger. These are the Nintendo Game Pack with Top Secret Tips. You get three scratch-off cards and two stickers. Dating, 
1989. So I would have been in grade six. I'm old, very, very old. So they had these little scratch things on the front, which I never really got. I just basically scratched all of them. Uh, it says find and move to the next area. F uh, find three and you lose. Find two and you win. And I always lost. It was just a weird thing. It just, it's odd. Just one of those things that make you go, hmm. Make you go, hmm. There's Double Dragon. This one actually looks very familiar. Super Mario 2. And then we got Billy Lee, and we've got Link. Uh, top secret tip for Punch-Out. Listen closely to what the fighters say one another before the actual fight. They reveal valuable clues to help you win. What's another tip? Super Mario Brothers, to make Mario jump extra high, hold the B button while you run and jump. Did you know that? Probably most people do. Also got ourselves a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cards. 11 cards, one sticker. No gum, apparently. Something else I collected back in the day were these cards. I had, I tried to collect every single one of them. I was very unsuccessful then. I just ultimately later on went and bought the whole set at a card show. Turtle Power. Leonardo. Rock by Turtle. This is all like the first couple of episodes. New Mutant Henchmen. What do you do with all those animals? And then what does Shredder say? He says, just a little experiment. Is it gonna hurt? And I think Shredder says, well, let's just say you might have a tough time getting a date on Saturday night. Hot. I wonder if I actually got that right. The ninjas emerge. The perfect host. Oh, April O'Neil. Courage of the Master. Hero in a half shell. Turtle threat. Metamorphosis. A narrow escape. And the first card, number one. 88 cards, 11 stickers. Doing a lot of uh, trips down memory lane. It is Halloween, or not Halloween. It is Valentine's Day, so there is the Valentine's Day little lollipop from Tiger Pops and Dinosaur Dracula. Thank you. That means they love me. Nah, just, I'm sure everybody got that. We have Dino Wars, the Cretaceous Conflict. A series of different... Wait, what? It's dinosaurs and it's army men, which the dinosaurs are apparently the same size as the, as the, the uh, military men. A top secret government initiative sends a gaggle of soldiers back in time. Their mission, bring back prehistoric oil. But first they'll need to take down the dinosaurs who don't take kindly to oil-stealing green men. Who will survive this Cretaceous conflict? Only you can decide. This is a 2016 Dinosaur Dracula product. That makes some sense. I should have actually read that before I got a little, uh, a little smart with my zing there. That's pretty cool. Let's see what else we have in here. Hark, a Star Wars Return of the Jedi film cell featuring C-3PO himself. This is the Dino Drac specimen number 19, a genuine Return of the Jedi film cell pulled either from the film or one of the original trailers. May the force be somewhere in your vicinity. We got mask stickers appearing to be from the Mask cartoon and not from the Jim Carrey movie. And not thinking of the horrendous Jamie Kennedy Son of Mask uh, movie. Yeah, these are all Mask stickers. I don't think I ever really watched the Mask, to be honest. It's not really my thing. Equally so, I didn't really like the movie either. We also got ourselves Keep Talking, I'm Listening. Little Smurfs Super Cards. Smurf Appeal. What's Cooking Good Looking? Number 32, Smurf. I think nowadays, I don't know if you could say that to somebody. It would be like a sexual harassment. Uh, let's see here. What else did we get? We got some loose things in here. 
Let's see, let's see. We got a Dinosaur Dracula sticker for uh, February. A couple of random He-Man cards. Not really sure why, but they're in there, and I'm very appreciative of that. I love He-Man. Have a nice trip. So you want to dance, huh? These are all, it kind of seems like these are all the same. Oh, there's the number. I was going to say, where are the number on these? It's 50 and 51. What's Sorceress who here? 19. Mmm, Sorceress. Put that right there. And finally, we have the Dinosaur Drac February 2016 card. See? Even grotesque mutants also get uh, chocolates for Valentine's Day. And finally, let's see what we got in here. Everything's on pink paper because it is Valentine's Day. Five movies I can't believe I saw in the theaters. An essay by Matt from Dinosaur Dracula. The first one being Aliens, 1986. Garbage Pail Kids, the movie, 1987. No Holds Barred. Ah, No Holds Barred. Love that movie, 1989. It's so bad, it's good. Independence Day and Spawn. I'll read that up later. And finally, on an even brighter sheet of pink paper, the Dino Drax Fan Pack Newsletter for the February 2016 edition. In this box, we've got Vintage Super Monstrous Swamp Monster figure, Vintage Smurfette Keychain, packs of old trading cards featuring old school Nintendo and TMNT, an honest-to-goodness Return of the Jedi film cell, Dino Drax Dino Wars figure set, a special Valentine's Day edition of Dino Drac mini poster, two bags of snacks, and an essay of my weirdest movie theater experiences. All from Matt. If you guys are interested in getting Dinosaur Dracula delivered to your house every single month and getting all this vintage retro goodness, click the link down below and you can subscribe today. Today we are having a look at the Valentine's Day. Oh, I love you too, Dinosaur Dracula. We're looking today at the Dinosaur Dracula February Valentine's Day box. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more videos heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.